Uh, Eco News says dark oxygen discovered for the first time in history. It's under the sea and it's not good at all. I made a couple of references to this the last few times I've been on a stream because I was super excited to learn about this. In a revolutionary study, researchers have found that oxygen may be generated in the deep ocean, challenging prolonged theories regarding its beginnings. The surprising fact, labeled dark oxygen, challenges traditional knowledge as well as raises substantial worries regarding the future of deep ocean environments as mining businesses observe the floor of the ocean for beneficial resources. Dark oxygen, who names this shit? <laughs> Primal Clown. Thank you for the seven month resub. There was a Mexican actor famous for inflating his penis. Was there? Is this a joke? <clears throat> when I call it Darksigen, I don't know. Mermaid's real? Maybe. Ocean researcher finds oxygen generation in deep ocean mystery. Ocean scientist Andrew Sweetman in 2013 initially noted a perplexing occurrence whilst carrying out a study in the isolated Clarion Clipperton Zone, an extensive section of the Pacific Ocean. Sweetman's sensors signaled that the generation of oxygen was occurring at a depth of approximately 4,000 meters, where there is no penetration of sunlight. Primarily, he thought that his gear was defective as it was extensively understood that the generation of oxygen was completely the realm of photosynthetic organisms, which depend on sunlight. But after frequent analysis, as well as the authentication of his gear, Sweetman arrived at an astounding understanding. Oxygen was being produced on the ocean floor by naturally developing metallic nodules that are loaded with treasured minerals such as cobalt, along with nickel, as well as lithium. The discovery, recently printed in Nature Geoscience, indicates a new supply of oxygen in our seas, challenging current standards regarding deep ocean environments as well as their operation. Ah oh yes, the Clarion Clipperton Zone, my old stomping grounds. I feel like this is really fucking cool, right? Because if there's, like, the existence of dark oxygen deep in the ocean, in theory, couldn't we somehow make use of this dark oxygen in order to go further into the ocean floor than we've been able to send people before? Or is this dark oxygen literally unbreathable to, like, people of our lung capacity? Sounds like a metal band. What if, what if the dark oxygen is the secret to going even further into the ocean because also on the ocean floor chat, there are spicy deep sea raid. lakes on the ocean floor, and the lakes are very, very dense salt lakes. So there are only specific organisms that can go in and out of these dense salt lakes at the bottom of the ocean. And I was like, the, when we learned about these, I was just like, well, what would it take to send like even an unmanned machine into one of these salt lakes, right? Like, what is the pressure like, right? Let's make the rapture real. <gasps> Heckin' Wolfram Omega, thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, raiders. We're talking deep sea scientific findings. You hate the thought of that stuff. <laughs> we can reach Agartha finally. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, I find it interesting, man. There are metallic ions in there. It's not possible to. Anything is possible, though, right? Right. They'll turn everyone into deep sea monsters. Because it's like, if you if you also have, like, the, the dark oxygen... Because the way you pressurize cabins is using, like, air pressure, right? So if you can use the dark oxygen, maybe you can somehow offset the pressure. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not- I'm not a geologist. I don't know how this works. It's just- it's just fun. <laughs> it's where the aliens are hiding. <laughs> We need to find Ralea. I don't know what that is. You must wait until tomorrow to use your prune. I'm sorry, Glacier Jake. Well, fucking laugh yourself to death if we really do hit a Gartha. Oh no. <clears throat> we slingshot satellites around Venus toward the sun to take measurements. We can do anything. <laughs> Imagine. Munya. Um, 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 um. 
the gateway to comprehending how the metallic nodules generate oxygen remains in its distinctive properties. Sweetman, together with his investigative team, theorized that the nodules worked like natural batteries, splitting ocean water into hydrogen as well as oxygen over a procedure identified as electrolysis. When retained in salt water, the nodules produce electric tides which could enable the parting of water particles, discharging oxygen into the ecosystem surrounding it. Experimentations carried out in the laboratory uncovered that the power produced by the nodules was similar to that of a typical AA battery. Those rocks aren't very powerful in that case. We need a bit more power. AA, AA batteries, pretty small. They don't last very long. You know, you need two of them for a Game Boy. It's uh, the ocean floor pressure that activates the piezoelectricity in the rocks creates the needed voltage to start the electrolysis process. I don't know what the piezoelectricity is. I'm thinking about it wrong. It's oxygen dissolved in the water, not accessible. Pressure is the problem with deep sea exploration. You could just use electrolysis to make oxygen to breathe when in the ocean. Well, yeah, but can't you also use it to, like, displace some of the pressure? Maybe? Kirsch about to make buy for Dolphin Station 2 Dark Ox. It's time for the remake, dude. The Netflix remake. Of the Bifurd Dolphin experiment? I don't know why I keep calling it an experiment. Because it's not an experience either. What? <laughs> what is the word I'm looking for? Mm. It's over fourth incident. Thank you, KB. I don't know why I keep using E words when it's an I word. Onya. Piezo electricity is current generated by compression of crystals. Oh, okay. All right. When you hit rocks and crystals, they make a small charge because the water pressure is a constant force on it. I guess so. I guess so. That's not how pressure works. I don't know how pressure works, man. <laughs> I know. The power, while under the boundary necessary for ocean water electrolysis, indicates that once nodules are grouped simultaneously on the ocean floor, they might generate adequate power to prompt this procedure. This discovery brings about fascinating questions regarding the role of the nodules in supporting deep sea life, along with highlighting the probable environmental importance of the dark oxygen generated. The finding of dark oxygen has considerable consequences for deep ocean mining, specifically in the mineral abundant Clarion Clipperton zone that is aimed by several businesses. The mining presents dangers to deep ocean environments which rely on these nodules' oxygen. Machine researchers, Sweetman included, gives caution regarding the possible ruin of habitats as well as biodiversity in these unfamiliar areas. Petitions have been signed by more than 800 marine scientists hailing from 44 nations for a suspension on deep ocean mining, highlighting the hazards of interrupting massively unfamiliar environments. <clears throat> I mean, I can kind of understand them being like, we don't know what's down there or what kind of environment we're going to disrupt, but also like... What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Need to revive Freddie Mercury, David Bowie, John Lennon, George Harrison. What? Metallic nodules are interesting to miners because they contain useful minerals like cobalt and um, manganese, manganese for use in batteries. They unleash Cthulhu. <laughs> it's bad for people wanting to mine the ocean floor. That's good though. They shouldn't be doing that anyways. Total destabilization of undersea life? If it's electrolysis, that means it's splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen. You add a spark to that and you get a boom. Oh, so if they dig into one of these things that's like making the dark oxygen, it'll it'll cause an explosion. So that would be uh, very dangerous, as it were. Where's your scientific curiosity? What's the worst that can happen? Have you read Lovecraft? You're not going to create a Cthulhu by mining into the dark oxygen. You don't know why, but you're getting some Bioshock vibes. Kaiju movie plot. It's a bad idea. Oh shit, is it actually? N no, you would release the Cthulhu. <laughs> Wish we could explore more of the deep sea. You want to see big fishes? I also would like to see that, right? Like whenever they find a frozen over lake in Antarctica and they're like, oh, let's grab some shit from inside this frozen lake. And they're like, oh. New organisms that have been frozen for 15,000 years. How fascinating. I want more of that. I want more of those things. The fishes in the deep sea are fucking terrifying. They are. They are. 
Nobody asked, should we? Has science gone too far? Sweetman highlights that the mining sector needs to think about the effect on dark oxygen generation along with the wider ecology. Prior mining efforts in the 1980s triggered substantial damage to marine life with salvage taking years. Hence, scientific oversight together with additional investigation into this occurrence are necessary before any massive removal happens. <laughs> Help. What happened in the 1980s? <laughs> Help. Does, does anybody remember, like, a 1980s mining disaster in the ocean? There was a working model for a cart engine that ran on hydrogen using the electrolysis technique hey, to get it from tap water up. using aluminum and gallium pellets. Guess what happened to the guy developing it? He killed himself with two shotgun blasts to the back of the head? Imagine Kirsha pushing the button, releasing the Elder Gods. What did he mean by this? <clears throat> Probably some rope as well. <laughs> That's right, we got him, boss! Jesus Christ. Pretty sure there was more than one in the 1980s? I wasn't alive in the 80s, so... Kirsha, please don't die. I promise nothing. Uh, life is rough for a goblin like me. Are there some elder himbo gods? She would press that button. True. Dark Oxygen be like, actually, don't breathe. Lingan? The disclosure of dark oxygen generation in the deep sea casts a thrilling but frightening perception into the complications of marine environments. As scientists persist to solve our ocean's mysteries, it becomes progressively transparent that there's a lot we do not understand regarding the marine ecosystems. The possible effects of deep ocean mining on this recent oxygen supply, as well as the environments which depend on it, guarantees serious regard. As scientists request more inclusive studies, it is essential that we come closer to the likelihood of utilizing the seafloor with discretion, balancing financial concentrations along with the conservation of Earth's diverse ecosystems. Yeah, but I want to know more about the diverse ecosystems, right? Because, like, what if, what if you go down there and there's literally nothing there? There's no diverse ecosystem to even disrupt, right? I mean, there probably is, right? That It's more likely that there is shit there than there isn't. But, like, you don't know, and I don't know, and I want to know. I want to just send shit as far as we possibly can, and then just, like, record everything. I want to see all the spooky fishes and spooky little amoebas. When the dark oxygen starts speaking French. <sighs> C-D-E. I don't think they meant inclusive, D-E-I inclusive. They just mean, like, more robust studies, chat. Have you tried swimming down? I can't withstand the pressure! <laughs> Futuristic mermaid civilization. Jesus. The fish have never seen light in their life. You're traumatizing them. A little trauma does a soul well. <laughs> nobody, nobody... Oh. When when I alt tab my browser, it makes it disappear for you guys. <laughs> Am I okay? I was just really confused because that shouldn't happen. That's, I was like, did I just read that whole article without it on my screen? I was like really confused. 